One of the nice new features of PC Crash 11.0 is the support for the E57 format of point clouds. Uh, you see here I've got a few clouds uh, scanned under different settings. I'll take this as about a 500 megabyte scan. Just drag it in. You can see it takes a little while to calculate. It's got about 8 million points. And see it takes a little while to load in. The XYZ format is an ASCII uh, format. So what you're doing is storing whatever it is. It's a byte or two for every digit in the XYZ RGB coordinates. So it's a nice scan. It's all Jim Dandy. But if I take in uh, this guy here, see this is about 175 megs, so about one third the size. Load it in. That's 9 million points and loads in much faster. So E57 is a binary, uh, platform independent uh, kind of standard. It's not specific to any of the 3D scan manufacturers. Uh, and you can load it in a lot faster, it's a lot smaller, and it has uh, the advantage um, that uh, the, the XYZ export, I understand from workflow, uh, some uh, people have to go from, for example, with Pharaoh Scene software to some other software for cleanup and work, and then back into Scene in order to export the XYZ, and there's some settings. So there is improvement with the XYZ format, uh, but this E57 is what we're moving to uh, in our work here. So brought in the Scene. I'm just going to flip over to my View tab, take a look. Here's this nifty, tight, real sharp curve here. It's wooded. And so let's say I want to take this scene and uh, make a 3D uh, road object from it. So pretty tough to select just the points on the road with uh, all these trees and whatnot. So another improvement in 11.0 is the handling of uh, the UCS. It used to be that uh, when you could move around your view in the 2D window, for example, like so, uh, you would have to then have the UCS snap to the view. Uh, now that's handled automatically. So any view you're in uh, snaps the UCS to. So to show what I mean here, I'm just going to go to my drawing toolbar, get my little selection here, pick my point cloud, right click, select with polygon, and I'm just going to do a rough cut going around the shoulder of this road. I'm going to try it pick all the stuff that, oh, actually, I'll do, oh, no, I'm going around the outside, so I'll do that, click, so I picked all the points, I'm going to right click to delete those points, now if I was doing this for work, I would probably have uh, done a filter to make, uh, to make another layer with a subset of these points instead of deleting my drawing, especially since I just brought it in with the mouse pointer instead of loading it in as a DXF menu object. I don't have control over bringing this in the thing in again. Let's delete that. So now you can see I've cleaned up to just kind of get the points on the road, but I still have all those trees and they're overhanging the road, so triangulating is going to be a mess. So if I go back to my view and pick, let's say, that view, now I can select with polygon and just start picking because before all these, all these drawing polygon, selection of polygon tools require an XY system that's sort of set to your view. There we are. And you, before you have to snap the UCS, but now that happens automatically. So that's not too bad. I can do another, maybe I can do a move rotate in my view here. So I can just pick, uh, get a view that shows me what I want to see. Like maybe this one. Again, I can right-click that and select with Polygon, pick these guys to get rid of them, and delete. There, and so now, 
I don't have to do this in the 3D view, I can do it in the other one. That's pretty good. I probably want to clean up some of these bushes at the side for an easy selection, but I could uh, now even maybe just ignore them and uh, pick the points for my triangulation. But here I'll just select all, and uh, I'll run a triangulation. Okay, so this is a little crazy because uh, I've got the defaults set differently. So let's fix that. Let's just go. Um, it's my scale and grid spacing. Nope, that's the one in the drawing toolbar. That is what always eludes me. This guy. Let's see. I want to change my min triangulation distance and my max. Let's say maybe a minimum of one, maximum of five meters. And then if I take my drawing toolbar again, select all, and then retriangulate. Yes, I want to use it. And yes, I want to delete the existing ones. Boom. Much better. See, so now I have a much better grid. You see with this quick cut, I still am catching a few of these things at the side of the road and getting some pyramids, but I'm not popping up to any power lines or uh, trees. And I've got a nice road slope we're ready for some simulation. So you see that uh, between the E57 support and the uh, improved uh, UCS handling, uh, point clouds are even faster to work with in uh, PC Crash 11.0.